evolution of the industry has changed to where record keeping is tremendously more important. Made a new rule and everybody had to start keeping records. Everything's documented. Hello everyone, I'm Joe Dagger and at Aprex I handle business development and assisted in creating our grower onboarding process. In the past, I have worked with companies on their lean journey and most specifically, though my roots are in manufacturing, in the service end of the business. Uh, in software as a service type companies, the SaaS companies, I've always tried to make that second S, service, as big as the first S, software. Today we'll serve as a brief introduction to lean and our kickoff for 2015. We are happy at Aprex to provide a forum to promote Lean. Most of the examples will be from Aprex, with some of them taking you behind the Aprex philosophy as we are on our own Lean journey. Today we are going to spend about five minutes on each of these subjects and go through them rather quickly. Please feel free to ask any questions. Since we are recording this, I will have you muted, so raise your hand or type the question in the chat box. You know, the introduction to Lean. Lean, for all intent and purposes, has evolved from the Toyota production system, TPS. It was, um, TPS was greatly influenced by Dr. W. Edwards Deming. You know, we can complicate things and talk about many different things, but Lean can be applied in any business because it is more of a cultural thing and really rests on two basic principles. Continuous improvement, Kaizen, the Japanese term, and respect for people. In most lean thinking, we talk about Kaizen or continuous improvement, which is exemplified in PDCA, Plan, Do, Check, Act, or it has been called the short or Deming cycle. It is simply a method of continuous improvement. Ono, the guru of the Toyota production system came along and said, there's no improvement without a standard. So in essence, SDCA was created. Recently, as innovation, design thinking, have become the buzzword of the day, Eric Ries created the Lean Startup. It was based on build, measure, learn. It was his idea that you develop product and get it into the hands of the customer at its most minimum level and leave the customer to decide the value and expand on that. I can argue that in a few instances and in my thinking and what I've learned from a Toyota guru in Europe, Graham Hill, that there was similar thinking within Toyota called Explore, Do, Check, Act. EDCA. I like that a bit better as I believe that it offers a little more substance and guidance versus just the build, measure, learn thinking. So right or wrong, I base my lean thinking on these three principles. Standardization, improvement, and exploration. But PDCA is the glue. Without that mindset, without that continuous improvement mindset, it is difficult to traverse between the three. And I think successful companies have a mixture of all three. Some may be more innovative, Apple. Some may be more standard, Microsoft. But having a process in place for each, even the innovation side, is what makes Lean successful. And when you think about a system, it is just a series of functions or activities within an organization that work together for the aim of the organization. Dr. Deming believed that the journey of continuous improvement requires the understanding of systems which is emphasized in his own system of profound knowledge. You know, the appreciation of a system involves understanding how interactions, feedback, between all the elements of a system can result 
in internal restrictions that force the system to behave as a single entity that automatically seeks a steady state. It is this steady state that determines the output of the system rather than the individual elements. What all that says is we're, we're really saying that the limited output of a single thing can determine the total output. Thus, it is the structure of an organization rather than the employees alone which holds the key to improving the quality of the output. Dr. Deming would say that 90% of the problems are process versus people issues. In Lean Thinking by Womack and Jones, the authors introduce five core concepts. Specify value from the standpoint of the end customer by product family. Identify all the steps in the value stream for each product family, eliminating whenever possible those steps that do not create value. Make the value creating steps occur in tight sequence so the product will flow smoothly toward the customer. As flow is introduced, let customers pull value from the next upstream activity. As value is specified, value streams are identified, wasted steps are removed, and flow and pull are introduced. Begin the process again and continue it until a state of perfection is reached in which perfect value is created with no waste. Understanding these five principles is a key in understanding lean. In our upcoming months, we will be concentrating in a few more specific areas. Our idea is to delve deeper into TWI, training within the industry, success in your data, COPPA, corrective action, preventive action, and topics such as that. We will also be hosting an AgEx Winter Conference Series Though not exactly lean, it does have very similar characteristics. It is a non-promotional series, not about the AppRx platform. As I said, the knowledge can be applied with, to any system. This is not a sales demo. It is simply how to go from looking at food safety data in a reactive way, from compliance to awareness to opportunities. We typically look at this data from a lens of compliance, audits, collecting, and storing records. We are going to show you a different way, how to bring this data to life through awareness and use, and from a strategic viewpoint to meet business objectives. We invite you to join us for this three-part webinar series. There is a cost for the series. However, I'm happy to email you a discount code for the entire cost and a free ebook on will values matter at the end of today's program. So this concludes for today. Can I answer any questions that uh, you might have?